In section 8.4, we're going to talk about the area of composite figures. So it's just, once again, cutting each shape up and then finding the area of each part. So in 8.4, to find the area, like I just said, you're going to separate it into figures with areas you know how to find. Then you find the sum of all of those areas. Now, I want to make a note of something you are allowed to do this different ways. So the way I'm showing you is only one piece of how you would do this. Here's a perfect example, this problem right here. You can do this multiple ways, and I'm actually gonna do it both ways. On your homework, you only need to do it one way. So find the area of the yellow figure. So you could cut it up, and you could say, okay, well, Mr. Humphreys, I see that I have a rectangle here. So I'm going to find the area of a rectangle. And by the way, when you do this, I would stay organized and write down each piece you're finding the area of. Okay, then I see I have a small triangle. And then I could say I have a large triangle. And then I have a, a square. So, you have four shapes. Now, you could have easily said, like, this, these two pieces together, well, this is a trapezoid. Absolutely, you could have done that. So, what I'm going to do is find the area of each of these shapes. Well, I know a rectangle is base times height. So, the rectangle, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, the area of... The rectangle will be 8 multiplied by 4, and that would give me 32 units. The small triangle looks like I have a base of 2 and a height of 2. So 1 half base times height, 1 half of 2 times 2, which is 4. That means this one is going to be 2 units. The large triangle looks 3 by 3. So that's going to be 1 half base times height. Well, 3 times 3 is 9. So half of 9 is 4 and a half units. And the square looks like 3 times 3, base times height. So the area is 9. So if I add these all up, that would give me, let's see, 32 plus 2. That gives me 34 plus 9 is 43 plus 4.5 gives me 40. Seven and a half square units. And I just realized I labeled all these wrong. These should all be squared. So my answer would be 47 and a half square units. Now there's another way I could have done this. I'm going to erase this. I'm going to treat it like one giant rectangle. So here it is. And I'm going to find the area of that piece. Base times height. So that would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 8 times 7 would give me an area of 56. But now I'm just going to cut out the pieces I don't know. Or I don't want. So I have this piece here. I cut that piece out. Well, that's one half base times height, and this is three by three. So one half of three times three, that means that's gonna be half of nine, which is 4.5. So I'm gonna subtract out 4.5. This piece right here looks like to be just a one by two rectangle. So the area of this is base times height, so that would just be two. So I subtract out a two. And this piece here, well, we've already done it. It's the same as the small slot triangle. So 2 times 2 is 4. Half of that is 2. So if I take 4 and a half plus 2 plus 2, that's 56 minus 8 and a half. Well, that would also give me the same answer of 47 and a half square units. So either way is acceptable. So example two, finding the area of 
the basketball court shown. So it looks like the basketball court shown would be the... Do they want us to find the whole thing? They do. So we want to find it. I, don't, they, I would normally not give you two separate colors. I would just put it all together. I would give you something that looks like this. And that's really bad. But you'd have to know that this right here would be a semicircle or the whole thing is a circle. It's up to you. So what I see is I see a rectangle. So I'm going to write down or abbreviate rectangle. So the rectangle, though, is this. Then I see a semicircle. And I know you're going to be like, well, wait a minute, that's a full circle. Well, the area of the rectangle is going to actually give me this half of the circle. So all then I need to do is find the other half of the circle. So the rectangle is base times height. Well, that is just going to be 19 times 12. That's going to give me 228 square feet. The semicircle is going to be pi r squared divided by 2. So 3.14 multiplied by the radius. Now the diameter is 12, so the radius would be 6. Take half of that. Well, 36 times 3.14, or multiplied by 3.14, divided by 2, gives me approximately 56.52. I add these together, that gives me a total area of about, that's really bad, let's do this, do this. about 284.52 square feet. You could have also just rounded it and say about 285 feet. And there's my answer. So in example three, finding the area of this shape. So if I found the area of this shape, I've already cut it up for you. We're gonna have a triangle, a rectangle, and a parallelogram. Well, the triangle is one half base times height. The rectangle is base times height. The parallelogram is also base times height. So the triangle is gonna be one half of the base, which is 11 and 2 tenths, multiplied by the height, which is 4 and a half. And that's going to give me half of 11.2, that'd be 25.2. The rectangle is just 8 times 4 and a half. 8 times 4 and a half is 36. And the parallelogram is 8 times 6.7, which would give me 53.6. or 53 So if I add these all up, the total area is 114 and 8 tenths square centimeters. And in this section, you have no new vocabulary as well.